All right, good morning. As you guys saw, I was hobbling into my uh, my truck here. So first, yes, my foot is still a little bummed. It's still a little swollen. Um, a lot of the swelling went down. Um, I can kind of walk on it, but I still don't put too much pressure on it. Secondly, I have something I came in uh, this past Thursday. Something I've been waiting for for a very long time, for probably about four months. I'm going to my buddy's shop real quick. He has something for me that I, I need to make this work. So I'm gonna run to his shop real quick. I'm gonna grab it and uh, head back and then I will show you guys exactly uh, what I've been waiting so long for. And I'm so excited to get this into the car. Whoops. Oh, oh, best flavor. Okay, so I got me some monster for some caffeine and got me some banana bread. Uh, not the healthiest of breakfast, but I'm on the go right now, so I didn't really cook anything. Eventually. So I finally made it back home, sat in traffic forever. I'm going to unload the truck real quick. Um, ho I'm hoping everything fits and it lines up perfectly, um, but knowing this car and the track record I have with things not working and fitting, uh, it's slim to none. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a seat. So again, I'm very impatient and I want to see the seat. I want to sit in it. Um, I've been waiting, I think I ordered this beginning of March. Um, they were on kind of back order, not really back order, but they just placed an order with the actual company. I've wanted these seats forever. Um, I will explain why there's only one box and not two. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you my new seat. I know a lot of people, um, they probably assume that I was just gonna get a Brid seat. Um, unfortunately, I don't wanna get Brids. Um, they were about $1,200 a piece or something like that. And then to find them used, they're not gonna look as in good condition and everything. And I wanted a brand new seat. So I didn't go with the uh, carbon or the Kevlar backing um, because that was an extra, God, I don't know. I think the seats were, 1600 a piece or so so I stay with the fiberglass uh, kind of hard to see though the FRP it's gloss black but I love the texture of oh my god fucking Mustangs. Anyway I picked up these rails off my buddy um, they were in his one of his Supras He's not using them, he's putting stocks in. I'm hoping that my sliders fit on this. Um, I'm going to say there's probably about a 1% chance that the sliders will fit because it's me. Why do I only have one seat? Well, I ordered two. Um, they said they can get one sooner than later. Um, the one seat will come in this when it came in. And in the second seat, I'm probably gonna have to wait another like two or three months for it to come in. Um, unfortunately, all their orders were fulfilled. I was like one of the last ones to get the, their very last seat that they had on order. So that's the whole premise of why I only have one seat. Um, I have both the brackets. I have both the sliders sitting in a box over here. But enough talking from me and babbling. Let's get this seat into the car because I am super, super stoked to see how it's, uh, it looks and feels. Okay, so finally got it. I mean, it's very, very minimal space um, to kind of work in here with a nut and bolt. 
Um, it, you can see there's a hole right there, and there's one like right here. Um, you just have to keep sliding it back and forth. And I think once the other one is in, you will just sandwich that in there. And once it's sandwiched in, um, it'll put pressure on both sides, and that's how it sits in. I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these up, and uh, I'm gonna do the other side same exact way. Uh, I lost a nut and bolt already. I have no fucking clue where it went, but let's just keep pressing forward. Alright, so I ran into a massive hurdle. Um, none of this shit fits. This has probably been one of the hardest installs because this seat bracket, it none of it, none of the shit fits. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm gonna have to talk to Veilside again, and they're gonna have to give me the exact bracket that's going to fit this seat. I was actually super excited. I got the seat. I was excited. I was like, got the rails, the sliders, everything. Um, rails didn't bolt up to the seat. Rails didn't bolt up to the sliders. Seat didn't bolt up to just the rail to hard plant it in. And I don't even know. I, I have no idea. I have to start drilling holes and nothing is lining up properly. Um, I'm going to have to order new rails. And what I can do is I can button up some of the wastegate stuff. Um, get the hoses ran, stuff like that. As you can see, this is going to be kind of like that. And this will be sitting kind of right there, so it's gonna be oh, my hand in the way. So it's gonna be very, very, very minimal hose. Um, these things are probably gonna be almost butted right up against each other, and from there, this this side right here is gonna go down to here. And there's very little hose I have to run. quick um, something I did want to bring up so this hose is a 3 16 and as you see this barbed end is pretty fucking big um, a trick that I also like to do is I like to heat the hose up um, don't obviously leave it sitting there because it'll melt the hose um, but you heat it up a little bit and it makes it a little softer where it'll stretch a little bit easier um, nice little trick and it makes it easier to put on uh, the barbed ends Okay, so I do have everything buttoned up now. The, ex the exhaust is on. It's sitting a little bit higher than it was before. Um, not by a lot, but there's nothing I can do about that. But everything looks squared away. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this car down. I'm going to probably uh, put all the interior back in. I'm going to attempt to look at doing a fuel pump as well. I'm gonna hook up all my battery cables, plug the ECU in, and kind of turn the ignition on and see what I get. Okay, so I got the battery on. Um, there's life in this car. I heard the, the everything clicking and dinging and whatnot. So that is a sort of a good sign. Right now, I'm going to load the map into the car. Um, hopefully, I can get it to crank. Um, there is a sensor I forgot to plug in. I have to reach for it. It's kind of hidden. So I'm going to plug that in real quick. So we got my log. Go. Connection. Connect. 
Target already connected. Right. So, I'm going to attempt to crank it. You guys can't really see that, it's because it's blurry. I'm going to attempt to crank it and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, absolutely nothing. Well, just like I suspected, I didn't think anything was going to happen. I figured I'd give it a try. It might be because I'm an idiot and I just thought about it. I never actually wired my low side fuel pumps in. So I'm going to wire in those low sides real quick. Um, shouldn't take too long. And then I will reattack. I wasn't banking on it starting at all. I was just, I don't know, I guess shits and giggles to see if it would actually like crank and not start or I'll get something. Um, I didn't get anything, so I'm not fully, fully done with the car yet. So once I actually do that, um, I should have 12 volts to relays once I hit it um, and the map is loaded. I think, I'm pretty sure the map is loaded. Um, should hear the relay click on and you should hear the fuel pump prime when I when I hear that I know I should be technically should be able to start the car um, I tried a couple times I got nothing obviously because I don't have a fuel pump and once I wire up the fuel pumps I'm going to try it again and if I'm still not getting any signal I have to trace what's not receiving or maybe there's something with the map so I don't know. Um, there's a there's a lot of little things that I I don't understand with wiring. So I'm trying my best to try to just trace everything and tackle everything. Um, but it may have to go to someone else if I can't figure it out in by next weekend. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, sorry, it's kind of a little boring. It's more like a filler video. I really don't have much going on with the super right now. I'm trying. I really am. I'm trying to get this car started. It's just this is far beyond my realm of knowledge with cars but you guys already know what to do like comment subscribe all that good shit helps out the channel more than you guys know make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you guys are aware of when i do upload a new video and with that i will see you guys on the next one later too many thoughts on my mind i can't sleep at night so i just keep writing i don't need no help i don't need opinions so don't waste my time then killing the game and i